What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to mix mortar. So I'm going to teach you guys and my apprentice Jordan, so stay tuned. All right, so a quick down and dirty lesson on how to mix mortar. So usually, if you wanna get real scientific with it, you can use a specific amount of water to a specific amount of mortar. There is a mixing table on the back of the bag that says for this amount of mortar, you need this amount of water, right? Mm -hmm. If we have a metering device on our water and we have some measuring devices for our mortar like a measuring cup and mm -hmm. we put in exact amounts, that would make sense but we usually don't have that. And certainly on a job site, it's not something that we just carry around. Right. So they have some fancy stuff out there, but if you're like anybody else, you're just gonna do it by hand. And so Schluter is a, uh, they have certain guidelines on the consistency of their mortar. And basically what we wanna do is we want it to hold the notch of the trowel without falling apart. So if I trowel it up on the wall and I have my notches of mortar up there, mm -hmm. we don't want it sl slopping over. We want it right. to hold that notch, but we don't want it too dry where it's you know curing ultra quick. This is a modified thin set. So what modified means is there are certain polymers and chemicals inside this mortar that allow it to dry in a certain way, in an exact certain way that Schluter wants it to dry in. So you have unmodified and you have modified thin sets. So this modified thin set acts a little bit different than others. So all mortars, what I'm trying to say is all mortars mix in a different way. So you can get any kind of mixing drill that you want. You can get an egg beater, you can get a regular paint mixer, you can get whatever drill you want to put on the end of it. This is obviously a Milwaukee M18 mud mixer, and this is an egg beater. So today, all we're doing is mixing it to the consistency that we see. We're not being all scientific with it, and not being crazy with it. We're just mixing it in a way that we you know, get the right consistency that we want. Now, mixing it by hand is really not an option because you want this thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. This says uh, mix for, it actually says mix for, uh, mix for eight minutes, then let set for 10 minutes, and then mix for another three minutes. Wow. So that, that way, in between, you're letting it flash off. So anytime you have like rubber cement or you have stuff with chemicals in it, it has to flash off and start to set up before you mix it again. So that's why you mix for eight, let it sit for 10, come back and mix for three. So you don't have to be ultra, you know, you don't have to set a stopwatch and right. do all that stuff, but you do need to give it time. It will act completely different if you let it set up and let it flash off in between. Okay. If we just mix it and start throwing it on the floor, it's gonna look a lot different. It's gonna act a lot different than letting it flash off for 10 minutes. So what I usually do, is go ahead and put some water in our bucket. Now this is just like, just like cutting wood. Okay, we don't want to overcut wood. We want to cut it, you know, longer, and, and then, then trim it down. Right. Then you can trim it down. So put a little bit of water in there. That way that your mortar is not sitting on the bottom of the bucket. It's about fell over there. Okay, so put your mortar in here. Okay. Now some people will even say that. Oh, you need, you need a vacuum on the side of your, on the side of your bucket to get rid of all that dust. That dust is toxic, blah, 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 blah. So we start to mix it. So I usually put it in between my feet like this and just mix it like that. Now you see it immediately starts to dry up. Let's bring the camera over and show that. We can show it from this aspect from now on. Okay. So it starts to immediately dry up as soon as that water goes away. So what I'll do is I'll put it on a little trickle here and then we'll just go a little bit at a time here. A little bit more than that. It's gonna take a considerable amount of water here. Okay, and then we just mix it in. So the drier your mortar is, the more it's going to want to whip around your bucket. 
So just be careful with it. If it's, if it's dry, it's gonna wanna whip that bucket around in your feet. See right there, it's too dry, so it's starting to whip it around in my feet. And it's way too dry still. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more water in there. Okay. When we're done with it, we want a nice creamy consistency. Okay, still way too dry. See how you can almost pick up the bucket with yeah. it. Still too dry. So we'll give some more water. Okay, that's about the consistency that we want. Maybe a little bit runnier than that, but we don't want it just slopping off and just pouring off of the, the mixer. We want it to be able to kind of fling off when you, when you turn it. Look at that, came right out of my drill. All right, rookie mistake here, hold on. Bear with me. <laughs> so we could go a little bit wetter because in our 10 minutes of wait time, it's going to flash off and get a little bit thicker. So we could go a little bit runnier with our mixture, but we don't want it to be too runny. So always, you know, err on the side of caution. We're just gonna give it just a little bit more water here. Something like that. All right, I like that. That way when we, use, we fling it off really easily, if we wanted to put a trowel in it so you could see it, you don't want it just falling off the trowel. You want it about that consistency right there where it's not going to be just a pain in the butt to use. If you're, if you're new and you're a beginner, it's gonna be really hard to spread mortar that's really, really thin and like really watered down. Thin means watered down. If it's if it's too thin, it's just going to fall all over the place. You're going to be making a mess. So we're going to let this set up for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll mix for another three. Okay, so now our bucket has set up for 10 minutes. And you can see, based on what we had before, this is a lot thicker. It's because it's flashed off, and all those polymers and stuff have started to dry. So what we're going to do is add some more water so that this is the same consistency that we want. We're going to mix for three minutes as per the instructions on the bag, and then we're good to start using it. So let's get just a little bit more water in here, and let's mix this up. Now we can roll in one of those SpongeBob three minutes later. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but see, now we're back to the consistency that we want, and that's what we want to use now. So it's not just slopping off, but it is nice and smooth and creamy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to mix mortar. Boom. All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something, whether you're new or you're a uh, veteran. Uh, if you have any constructive criticism, leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into, and I'll see you guys on the next video.